the biggest buzz done by a Dominican band in the U.S. was Toque Profundo's fifth release promotional tour in 2003. The band managed to attract media attention with a guest appearance at Music Choice and a rocking live show performance on Sirius Satellite Radio. <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name is Jose, coming from Sirius National Broadcast Studios, and I've got Toca Profunda right in front of me. And I'm, I'm going to say something real quickly here. I'm, I'm going to go online here and say something. I've never heard an independent band sound as good as you guys have. the advancement of technology, the number of low-budget albums has increased in the past few years. Home-based studios and digital recording have given bands solid results with minimal resources. Ahora es mucho más fácil de editar un disco. Antes cuando era un sueño, uh, grabar un disco, me acuerdo cuando Pocket sacó Estrella. Era el primer grupito que sacó un disco. Y la gente decía, ¿ustedes están locos? ¿Y para qué están haciendo eso? Y de ahí en adelante ya cualquiera sacó un disco. ¿sí? que al final como comercialmente no resultó, pero que sí, o sea, ahí está, que de bueno tú dejas un disco, bien. This alone allowed the release of over a dozen Dominican rock CDs in 2003 and the making of several videos such as the controversial clip Aquí no es from rebellious hardcore band Santuario. Susana's take against twisted Dominican politicians, Diputado Man. Web pages have also helped Dominican rock's popularity increase. A number of these portals specialize on different genre and showcase bands with interviews. Though the Dominican music industry still ignores the genre and wouldn't risk to invest in promoting it, the number of active bands increased furiously, and concerts like 2003's Nación Guerrera and this year's Anivelde.com Rock Festival showcased a great number of acts to the masses being the latter, a two-day fest that took over the newly opened Auditorium de Santo Domingo.
While Dominicans don't have a Juanes or a band like Mana touring all over the world, it's undeniable that hard work done through the years by these talented artists has come a long way. With over 75 bands actively spread over the major cities, the use of technology, and the success of Dominicans abroad, it's just a matter of time before one of them goes mainstream, putting Dominican in bold letters in the alternative music scene. Llamar la atención de alguien que quiera invertir, que crea en el proyecto, que crea que se le puede sacar dinero. Porque yo creo que sí. Pero hay que buscar ese alguien, hay que buscar ese lugar. Y hay que buscar esa gente que está dispuesta a hacer el sacrificio. Para que la música se oiga. Mientras tanto yo sigo haciendo mi parte, aquí, allá, donde sea, donde me permitan cantar o me den un espacio ahí, porque donde quiera que yo vaya yo soy dominicano y canto rock. Para eso vivo.